Hello all, welcome to Sivan's SAPSD training in association with the AMB IT Services and Technologies. In this session, I would like to explain about the SAP SD outbound delivery reports. So this is more of a theory part and we will discuss later on in the other uh, sections, we will discuss the complete uh, practically how we can see them. At present, this one will give more information to all the SD consultants that there are multiple reports which are available for sales order, delivery and billing documents. And then how we can run them and then how we can uh, see the details of the required report. So let us see one by one uh, delivery document reports. So the first one is deliveries due list. The transaction code is VL04. The report name is deliveries due list. So that means this report is required to see the list of sales orders which are due for delivery with respect to the shipping point, with respect to the sales area or customer or ship to party, sold to party and so on. So many input parameters we can give, we can choose them and accordingly we can get the layout output and, and then that will be displayed so that accordingly the business can take the decision. So this transaction code we must know, we all know that VL04 is there to see the deliveries a due list, so the date range also. Why these orders have not been picked up to create the outbound deliveries? What exactly the reason why? Is there any rejection reason being set or is there any blocked for delivery uh, messages set or so on? So many things we can come to know and accordingly the business can take the action to process that particular sales order to create an outbound delivery. So here you can see the list of sales orders which are due for delivery in this output selection criteria. And the second one is output outbound delivery monitor. So we use the transaction code VL06O. So this is one of the important transaction codes, especially for the uh, delivery related reports. The business requirement is to find all the options for collective picking, collective confirmations, and collective distribution. So we can select the options here as I highlighted here for checking, for distribution, for picking, for confirmation, for goods issue. See, when we click on that one, based on the input criteria, the system will fetch those outbound deliveries, outbound deliveries which are relevant for picking, which are relevant for confirmation, which are relevant for loading, or which are relevant for goods issue. That means all the outbound deliveries already got created in the system and then they have, they have been parked for picking or packing or PGI or so on. Those outbound deliveries, we can see them. You can see this screenshot where you can see the outbound deliveries for picking. So we can give the date range and if you know the shipping point, so that also we can give. So normally in real time, we don't, be, we don't uh, know about the shipping point. That means you can execute this uh, transaction and by giving the date range so that whatever the outbound deliveries are there, those outbound deliveries will be fetched on the output screen in the right side. So if you click on one outbound delivery, if you see the item overview or delivery overview, there you can find the delivery doc, the delivering plant and the shipping point and storage location also. Based on that one, you can give the selection criteria in the shipping point and receiving point in the outbound deliveries for picking. Like that, we, we will come to know and then we can identify the list of outbound deliveries which are due for picking. So here, the incomplete delivery, the third one, incomplete. So we all know that incompletion orders or incompletion deliveries, the similar way incompletion invoices, maybe because of the inco terms or because of the delivery plant or because of the uh, some other reason, shipping conditions and so on. So many incompleteness procedures will be there. So based on that, based on that one, what the client has selected. So accordingly, we can see the list of outbound deliveries using the transaction code P underscore UC. So this is the input selection criteria. And here we are getting the output that is a selection of incomplete SD documents. So these document we can, if anything is missed out, for example, here the batch or valuation types not completely allocated. So if the batch is not maintained for this outbound delivery, so then we can give this outbound delivery and then change the document, maintain the batch number and then process that particular outbound delivery. So that that outbound delivery, once we complete the PJ also, 
then that will disappear from this report. So here, when once again, if you come back and then execute this report, we underscore you see whatever the outbound delivery you have processed, for example, 8001853 has been processed by inputting the batches and then done the PGI. So then it will not appear in the screen again. So this is the incompletion of outbound deliveries. Number four, a display delivery changes. This is one of the important and key factor. In real time, we all will be knowing that uh, sometimes the users will change the change the values and then they won't explain us, they won't express with us and accordingly, we will have to see the display changes of the out, particular outbound delivery. So we have a beautiful feature called VL22 transaction code, which helps in audit trail for adherence to the compliances. This is one of the key transaction code, or otherwise we can go to VL03N or VL02N, input that particular outbound delivery, then go to the environment changes. So then that also, you can find it out. So this is also one of the key factors where we can find out the, the changes, what, what changes they have complete done, and then why it has uh, done this, these kind of things. All those things we can find it out, whether the user has changed the uh, report name or change the uh, net weight or cross weight or whatever it is, those details we can find it out. So this is, the you can see the output here that the, the total weight has been changed, net weight has been changed. And then if there any changes have been done, those changes can be displayed over here, seen over here, and then changed by the user details also will be mentioned over the, under this particular screen. Number five general list of outbound deliveries. So it is like a list of uh, outbound deliveries, which is like a variant of uh, VL060, which is similar to that one only. It will display the delivery details per customer also we can see. And those data based on that one, the business can take the action why these deliveries are uh, kept pending or they are, they are not yet created the PGI. Why the PGI has not been done for the particular outbound deliveries. Those things we will come to know. So by selecting the outbound delivery, you can see the item overview and then you can process them. And if there is any, um, why that particular outbound delivery is not completed, it is because of the goods movement is pending and billing status is pending. Maybe the reason why the stocks are not available or uh, the batch number is not maintained for that particular material. So many reasons will be there. Accordingly, you can process them. You can see the status of the outbound delivery by getting into the transaction code VL06F. And knowledge sharing never ends. Thank you all. To be continued, the part two. So we will discuss more about the complete uh, end to end, why this report is required. All those things we will discuss in our next part. Thank you all. Thank you again.